So this is a Coyote DK45, a 2002 model, I believe. Somebody requested that I go over and do the fluid maintenance. Uh, just kind of show where all the checkpoints are and drain points, so on and so forth. I'm over here on the front left side of the tractor. Your engine oil dipstick is right here. You can get to it without pulling the side panel off the engine, which is nice. Your front axle fill is right here, this plug on top of the axle. And this tractor has a sight glass on the back of the axle to check it. Uh, these axles, this could have hydraulic transmission fluid in it, or it could have 80-90 in it. It kind of just depends. Uh, you'll have to, you can obviously smell if it's 80-90 just by smelling it. Have that real aromatic, some people think it stinks smell. Uh, so check to know what that is. You should never have to add or adjust unless you have a leak or you changed it. Uh, the engine oil drain, this oil pan cups up around the four wheel drive drive shaft. So you've got one plug there and then the other plug on the other side. When you're draining your engine oil, make sure you drain from both of the plugs. While we're down here, I'll show you for your transmission. You've got one drain plug right there and then there's another drain plug back there. So that will drain the hydraulic transmission oil inside your transmission and your rear end. To add in fill, to add the hydraulic oil to this tractor, it's right here. And to check it is this dipstick right here. You always check the fluid with your three point hitch all the way down and your loader all the way down. That returns all of your hydraulic fluid to the tank so you can check it and it is an accurate reading. Your hydraulic filter, this tractor just has one and it is right under your right hand floorboard on this side. Uh, this one hasn't ever been changed. The newer ones are a darker gray and you can tell because this one still has the factory paint on it. Your engine oil filter, you can see it's right there. It's a darker gray showing it's been changed recently. And then your fuel filter is right back here. Now you can see it has on up there at the top. When you go to change it, you would turn it to off, which is over there on that side. And then all the way to the other side is air. So you turn it off, unscrew this, pull, it, pull this canister off, drain the fuel out of it. There's an O-ring up inside that housing that the filter seals up onto. And then there's an O-ring around the top side of this plastic cup as well that you need to change to make sure it doesn't leak. Uh, once you get that filter changed, get it all back on, turn it from off over on the air and watch. If this starts filling up, you're good. If not, you can try to add a little air to the tank to push fuel into this. Just beware of that because you will blow a fuel tank apart if you don't know what you're doing there. Uh, if you can't get this to fill up, this tractor does have a fuel pump on it. So you can crank it and hopefully it bleeds. This one has a bleeder right here. You can crack this open and hopefully it bleeds. Or last case, you would crack this open so you get fuel down here. Then of course bleed it to the injectors. Uh, this tractor does have a radiator cap. I can't see it because I have the hood on it. Uh, it's, well, I can't see it through this cap here, radiator cap. But it also has an overflow, overflow bottle. As you can see, full and low, as long as you're within, between full and low, your tractor has plenty of coolant in it. Your air filter's up in the front. You have to pull the nose off. Uh, I don't have time right now to do that. But pull that off, pull your air filter out to blow it out if you need to. This tractor also has a screen on front of the radiator. That's gonna collect most of your big material. Uh, most of your sticks and twigs keep them from getting into your radiator. If you notice the tractor starts overheating, you'll need to clean that screen off. And then if you clean the screen off and it's still overheating, you'll have to blow your radiator out because it's getting dust and dirt built up in it as they will. Uh, now for the grease zerks on your front axle, there's one on the pivot on your cylinder. That'll be for both sides. There's one, will be one for every pin on your loader. 
Now this is the Coyote KL1590 loader. Every loader is going to be different depending on if it's an aftermarket or a Coyote loader. Around to the back, you've got a grease zerk on both sides of your uh, top link holder. Uh, yeah, this is for the draft. Then behind that plastic cover there, where the controls for your three-point hitch run into the top cover, there's a grease zerk on there as well. That's all of them on the back. And then if you go around up here to the front, like I said, there's one on your steering cylinder on both sides. And then there's also one. Oh, well, it's on the other side. So for the pivot on your front axle, there's grease zerk there. And then there will also be grease zerk on this up here. Those two on the axle are two that people forget a lot. And you will get wear in your front axle. You don't want that to make sure, so make sure you grease those. Also, one of the very overlooked things on these tractors is the wheel lugs and the bolts that hold the loader frame to the tractor. Most people don't check these, and as that paint wears, these bolts here, there's a chance they will come loose all up back in there, and same with your wheel bolts. This is very important if you get a new tractor, as you're driving it around, starting to run it in, around 50 hours, put a ratchet on all the wheel bolts and all the loader bolts. Make sure they're still tight. Uh, if whoever put the loader on didn't clean off the paint in between the two mating surfaces, as it wears off, that will cause it to get loose and you will lose bolts. You could potentially break castings and pull the threads out of the casting. So that's a very important thing to remember and a very important thing that a lot of people neglect. So there you go, Coyote DK45. That's just gonna be your general maintenance. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. Have a great day.